Back now with a story you'll see only on 13 News Now. When you return something to a big name like Amazon, do you know where it's going? The answer to that, a liquidation company. They bundle up everything and sell it online. Nothing's no inspected. Nobody knows what you get. It's a gamble, but some people are buying boxes of mystery returns and making a profit. The bosses gave Evan Watson the company credit card to try his luck. Wait, hold up. Before we got here, we had to buy a bundle of mystery boxes. So let's start from the beginning. We just got outbid. Here we are bidding on an online auction for a 300 pound pallet of something. Estimated retail value at $3,000. And outbid again. I'm sweating a little bit, trying to buy a pallet based on one picture of plastic wrapped boxes. And ding ding. We have a pallet of general merchandise. It couldn't be more vague. A $500 bid plus 400 more in shipping costs to move it from Las Vegas to Norfolk. One week later, it arrived. I rolled it into our garage with photographer Steven Wozniak. Then we started the fun unboxing. I pulled out a blender, then some power tools. We found two air fryers and unmarked boxes. A couple of other kitchen items too. I opened one of the boxes labeled Shrimp Supreme Dumplings very cautiously, but felt relieved to find just a vacuum sealer. Then we arrived at the big items. I pulled out a tankless water heater, something I never expected to find. Next up, a huge countertop convection oven. That is very heavy. Then at the bottom of the pile, I found two large boxes and I knew we had something fun. We pulled out two electric scooters. After a few minutes, we put them together and they ran correctly. At this point, we realized we would need to test out most of the electrical items. So we packed up and then the next day, we brought the haul to my desk in the newsroom. I started looking up the items online, seeing how much they're worth. Just one of the scooters retails for more than $300. So I started thinking we could make a profit. We even took our blenders and juicers to the kitchen, looked in the fridge and found some free for all items. This action. And the blenders all worked as intended. My desk quickly turned into a staging area for product testing. The convection oven turned on and heated up. Our new DVD Blu-ray player worked too. There were a few duds. A food processor was broken and looked unusable. One of the blenders that worked in the kitchen was also cracked. And that massive tankless water heater, it was no longer being manufactured or sold online. After looking up every item and removing the broken ones, the combined prices for the new versions of the items in our bundle added up to $1,830. We bought the pallet for about $1,000, including shipping. So is this gamble worth it? Well, it depends on your ability to resell items, repair some, and sell some for parts. In a few cases, like with one of our sold out electric scooters, these returned packages can include valuable fines. 13 News Now decided to donate the usable items to charity for the holidays, and I retired from online mystery pallet auctions. For 13 News Now, I'm Evan Watson, reporting.